1964, Dana Bourgeois was a kid in Westbrook watching TV. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! Let's... When his life was changed by rock and roll. Oh yeah, tell you something. I didn't get interested until after I saw the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show. And then just about everyone my age ran out and got a guitar, and that's when I got interested in playing. After a few years of playing, Bourgeois started repairing and then making guitars while a student at Bowdoin College. He thought he would go on to a job at a museum specializing in conserving art, but he was having a lot more fun with guitars. And one day I had a, an epiphany that I liked people in the, in the music world better than I liked people in the art world. Or I thought I would be a better fit, so that's when I made the, you know, that's when I made the commitment. In the four decades since then, Bourgeois Guitars has earned a reputation for building some of the finest acoustic guitars anywhere. Dana and about 10 production employees work in an old mill in Lewiston. The workers use machines, but to a remarkable degree, they make guitars by hand, selecting every piece of wood, carving every neck, focusing on countless details that go into making an instrument with just the right feel, just the right tone. This operation is about as far as you can get from a mechanized assembly line, and these guys are crazy about guitars. I mean, I love playing them, love building them, love being around them all day. Just coming to work every day and getting to see these guitars and handle them every day, it's just, it's re so rewarding. So you can see it sparkle a little bit. Making an exceptional guitar requires exceptional materials. The wood is expensive, often exotic. This is uh, what's called beeswing mahogany, similar to the quilted mahogany, but it just has a different figure. Bourgeois says what makes his guitars distinctive is that they sound like a vintage guitar from the 20s, 30s, or 40s, and they sound broken in right from the start. Part of that is construction technique. Part of that is design. Part of it is we've, uh, we've come up with a process for artificially aging wood. So how does a bourgeois guitar sound to a discerning ear? It's just nice. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of warm, but it's still got a little bit of bite to it. What's especially gratifying to these craftsmen is when some of the big names in music pick up a bourgeois. The list includes country star Luke Bryan, Ray LaMontagne, last year's winner of The Voice, Sawyer Fredericks, bluegrass master Ricky Skaggs. Yep, we've known Ricky for about 20 years. The ring, the sustain is just... I've built him about eight guitars now. And maybe the most unlikely of them all, the bourgeois guitar just a few feet from Madonna played by sideman Monty Pittman. Yeah, that was a real nice surprise. Uh, we were pretty blown away that, uh, first of all, that Madonna had a guitar player. <laughs> the guitars have a beautiful sound and an elegant appearance. Dana says at music trade shows, it's so loud you can't hear anything, so the guitars better look good. Retail prices run from four to $10,000. And if a guitar needs a repair, Dana himself might do it. The guitar belongs to Courtney Hartman of the bluegrass band Della May. Uh, and uh, so I'm just making a little custom adjustment. This year marks a milestone for bourgeois guitars. My 40th anniversary model, every you don't get to do that too often, and no one wants a 41st anniversary model. <laughs> that is one of countless models the firm can make. Dana Bourgeois could increase production and make more money if he offered fewer styles and cut back on the painstaking hands-on work. But even after 40 years, his mission remains the same. Not to make a lot of guitars, but to make great ones. Mm -hmm.